Welcome to my vlog where we'll be discussing the challenge of incorporating a product placement for an internal condom within a video game. Hello, my name is Oliver Clark and I'm in my final year at Cardiff Metropolitan University studying advertising and marketing management. In today's vlog, we are going to be discussing about how Passanti, the internal condoms, can be incorporated in a video game. The product we'll be talking about today is Passanti internal condoms. Passanti is a UK-based company that offers a wide range of sexual health products including condoms, lubricants and more. Their internal condoms are a popular option for women who want to take control of their own sexual health. So, the target audience for this video game is Sims. Uh, we can assume the game's audience is likely to be young adults who are interested in gaming and tech. This demographic is also likely to be sexually active, uh, making Passanti internal condoms a relevant product to advertise within this game. 60% uh, of women uh, who play Sims are aged 18 to 24, which aligns really well with the product Passanti. Incorporating Passanti internal condoms as power-ups or items players can collect in The Sims game can be a beneficial marketing strategy for Passanti and The Sims. Increased brand awareness, positive association, targeted marketing, uh, these are all factors that will be beneficial for both parties. In conclusion, incorporating product placement for Passanti internal condoms within a video game is a great way to target young adult audience and create positive associations between the product and the game. There are many creative ways to incorporate products into video games, and I hope this vlog has given you some ideas. What idea would you have? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.